Welcome back to The Past is Alive, and thank you for joining me for another Sunday night weekend recap where I showcase the things that I found at flea markets and antique malls, in this case, a card show. Got a lot of packs to open tonight. We have some modern, we have some older stuff, some wax boxes, and we're going to get into some mail, too. And uh, please forgive all the leftover residue from the rip the other night. The smoke is finally clearing from the nutty tops, rip, and there's wax debris everywhere. So I apologize for that. But let's get right down to it. So I had last week off of work. I took a trip down to Morgantown, West Virginia. They had a card show at the Morgantown Mall. They were advertising 50 tables, so I decided to go check it out. It's about an hour and a half from me. And I'm glad I did because I came across some pretty cool stuff. There's one uh, dealer there that had a bunch of like 04 tops. There's like 04 tops traded in rookies. He had like 04 opening day. And then he had this box of 05 Bum and Crumb as a retail box. Base cards of Barry Bonds we're looking for, but the main one I'm looking for in here, we're going to open this this coming Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. Mets number one prospect, Philip Humber. But autograph first year cards is what we're going to go after, and in particular, Justin Verlander. He doesn't have a rookie card in this set, but he does have a first Bowman auto that can be pulled along, Matt Kemp. And there's some other ones too, and a bunch of other autographs to look for and inserts and whatnot. So we got a retail box here, 24 packs, three cards per pack. We'll bust that for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. It's one that I've yet to open. I've never even opened a pack of those, so should be a good time. And then at an antique mall, I came across this one yesterday morning. This guy usually stocks every weekend. I was, like, I was glad I popped in when I did because I have a box, a mega box of 2020, still sealed. And I grabbed this one. It's a good price. 2021 mega box, uh, 38 bucks. I think typically like comps, these are around like 50 to 55 bucks. Even when they're first released retail wise, about 50 bucks, I believe. So I was like, ah, 38 bucks. Can't beat that for a 2021 mega box. I'm not gonna open that right now. I'm gonna leave it sealed. This next one, people will probably smite me for, <laughs> but I could not help myself. Close your eyes if you're if they're sensitive to 2013 Trill Play because I got a box of them here. We got 24 packs, seven cards per pack. Of course, this is that heinous year where they're all drawn. But I said a long time ago, probably two years ago, that I was going to get a box of these and I was going to make a full sleeve out of the tattoos inside. Look at that, Ray Rookie. There's like, yeah, 12 different tattoos. So I'm going to give myself a sleeve of 24 different ones and... Probably document on video. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will even be with me when I do open that box because it is pretty awful. The final box that I picked up before we get into the mail and some singles is this one. And how could I pass this up? This was at another random antique mall, I think in Uniontown when I was there visiting the card shop. Five bucks. And he had like a stack of these or maybe two stacks of them. And I'm like, bingo. They're made by Pacific. These came out in 1991 when that movie came out. I don't remember ever seeing that movie. If you remember seeing that movie or have seen it, comment down below and let me know because I couldn't tell you a thing about, about it, but they look very, very 90s and pretty corny too. My single pickups, there wasn't a whole lot of them, but I did, when I stopped at Uniontown Mall, I went to see my buddy Victor, one of the coolest guys ever, at Pitt, Pittsburgh Stellar Collectibles, a card store in the Uniontown, Pennsylvania Mall, and... I bought a cash register off of him because he had a, a spare that was like brand new. So I got that for the store. I was pretty stoked about that. And I, he tossed me Max Freed's Bowman Rookie. I knew I didn't have this one. So I grabbed that one. He also complimentary Wander opening day rookie. He's like, you got this one yet? I'm like, I know the tops, but I don't have the opening day. He's like, here you go. You do now. So that was pretty freaking sweet of him. This yeah. last one I purchased because I can't pass on it. If I see this card for a good price, cannot ever pass on it. I have a few in my collection now, but uh, it's obviously off center. But for thirty bucks, I can't pass on a Henderson rookie. Other than that, I mean, it's not too shabby whatsoever. No stains of any kind in the back. Just off center, but I will definitely buy it if I see it for that kind of price. And of course, how could I pass up this card at the card show for a buck? Anytime I see it for like a dollar or for a couple bucks, I feel like impelled to buy it. It's uh, the short print SP4 from '92 Protect Mr. Baseball and. Primarily, like I've said the story and told the story on here many, many times before, when I pack-pulled two of these in the same pack, they were stuck together with a little bit of paper loss, but back in 1992, I bought a pack from Kmart, and uh, yeah, I had two short prints in one pack, and I was so stoked, because back then, this was a $10 card in the Beckett, so, 
immediately went into top loaders and I treasured them forever. And I still do. And one day I hope to get a PSA 10. I saw a PSA 9 sold recently and I missed the auction because eBay did not remind me the last 15 minutes it sold for like 21 bucks. I was furious. So hopefully one day I'll get a PSA 10 of that card. Next one. Could not pass on this one. This is at a card show in a random box. And the one thing I noticed at the West Virginia card show is like there was a bunch of guys there selling singles that weren't priced at all, which is kind of a little bit frustrating when there's a bunch of cards that you want. So, but they uh, guys are, were super cool though. And, um, I pulled this out and I'm like, what are you asking for that? And I have this card already, but just out of curiosity, if I can get it for a good price, I'm going to buy it again. Who wouldn't, but it's a 72 top. So Clemente's second to last card. And I always loved this card. I remember pulling the, the turn back the clock Clemente's out of the late eighties tops. And I always wanted to own this card someday. And a, a few years back, I found it at a card show for five bucks in really nice condition and bought it. So he's like, yeah, those tags are old. So uh, he's like, how about three bucks? I'm like, well, I'm never going to turn down a 72 Clemente for $3. That is a no-brainer. And for my Clemente collection, as it slowly grows, I bought this off the same guy. There's another random box. But it's a 67 Clemente, and this was 35 bucks. And for me, it's in uh, pretty nice condition. Good enough condition for my Clemente collection. I have probably about, I don't know, maybe like eight or nine of his cards now. So growing steadily. So that is it for my pickups. And let's get into some mail. We've got a bunch of packs to go through. Um, I'm going to dump these all out so it makes it a little bit easier. Right, so I have them all laid out. Couldn't fit them all on the screen really. But we got a lot of different packs to rip into. And we have even more after we check these out. But these were sent to me by a guy named Ryan Sullivan. Ryan lives in Colorado, and he sent me a little note along with these. He actually emailed me and said he wanted to send me some packs that he wanted to get rid of, and he likes to watch me open old packs. And uh, I told him I definitely would do it. We'd rip some of them. I'd probably put some in my store to give away to kids and stuff like that. So it was really awesome of him to send these. And he says, uh, you seem to really, really love Junk Wax Era Baseball. Enjoy these, and I definitely will. I work at a hobby shop for my friend. It's called Mike's Stadium Sports Cards in Aurora, Colorado. And he sells on eBay at local card shows. He mainly collects fo hockey and football. And uh, he has a YouTube channel, too. His YouTube channel is called French Toast Mashed Potatoes. I'll link that down below. But I want to give him a shout-out, too, because he has an eBay store, Sullivan Cards Collectibles. I'll link that down below as well, and um, you can check him out on there. Ryan Sullivan, thank you again very much, man. That was very, very cool of you to send a bunch of packs. I love to open packs, of course. So. Get right down to it. We have a lot to look at here. We have a lot of junk era stuff. We're not going to open all these, but we'll open up a few of them here and there. So right off the bat, we have a team bag stuffed full. Looks like it's like a Red Sox team bag of like modern I'm going to leave that sealed for the time being. It's taped up. But J.D. Martinez on top. Chris Sale on the back. That's pretty cool. Must have been for sale in his shop at one point. And we seems like we got a bunch of these, too. These, like, grocery packs. They're taped up as well. 89 tops. we got Steve Sachs here. Maybe we'll open some of these. But we have some interesting ones that I want to rip into. 92 Don Russ. Looking for an elite card. I'll probably leave that one sealed as well. But I'm more intrigued by these Modern League ones because Modern League, the, you can find some good cards. These ones from 1990, these Future Stars uh, from Pro Cards. Well, like Bagwell Rookie and stuff like that. Not Rookie, but Bagwell Modern League card, Frank Thomas. And there's some funny photos. Same thing with these. Uh, I think these are, what, CMC? I'm pretty sure. 1990. So... We're going to open those up and some of these other ones as well. we got like a bunch of 89 Donruss rack packs here, like looking for Griffey. Um, we got a big handful of 91 Ultra, 88 Donruss. We'll just, we'll go through, we'll narrow it down, we'll pick some out. We got a 91 Fleer rack pack. See who we have on the front of these. Eric Davis on the front of this one. I know Damon would love that one if he sees this video. Can't quite make out who that is. But these are really cool, though. I don't really see these ones very often. Um, Desert Storm. See those quite a good bit at the flea markets and whatnot. This one's got Mike Flanagan on the top of the pack. we got 92 score. We'll rip that one up in Series 2. Might be able to pull one of those very elusive autographs out of there. More 91 Ultra. We have an 87 Donruss pack. It's pretty awesome. We'll definitely rip that one, too. Series 1 Stadium Club. I might have to open that as well. Because I used to love those. For nostalgia for me, I have to open that. Another Fleer Ultra Pack from 91. 
Uh, this seems to be another 89 Donruss. We got some more Desert Storm packs in here. And we'll find a General Schwarzkopf rookie card. This is a... What is this? I think it's a just different set overall. Not even Fleer. Might have to open that. Look for the Dave Martinez error card that I've been trying to find for a while. We have some soccer. I don't know anything about soccer, so I'm probably not going to open those right now. 94. Maybe some of you guys may know a good rookie that might be in there. Our 89 tops. And then we have... Uh, these are interesting, too. I've seen these before, so I knew they existed. But we have Napoleon Dynamite trading cards. we got six packs of them. Might have to open a couple of those and see what that... Those are all about 89 Fleer. Might have to open that as well. Looking for maybe it's a, an error rack pack. Another Desert Storm pack. Mark Grant on this 89 tops. I'm probably going to keep most of these 89 tops sealed for right now. Um, since there is a good bit. It looks like we have another 91 Fleer rack pack. And Tony Fernandez on this one. Jose Batista. Now let's just go into. Uh, some of these minor league cards and see what's up with the 1990 CMC. I, I can't remember what his name was, but there's some funny cards in here. You're going to see minor league cards. I don't really include those into my offensive signage collection with like alcohol and tobacco sign because they're very, very common in the minor leagues. See them all the time in older cards. Doug Jennings, certain things off. <laughs> Definitely going to see some funny photos in here, and this is no exception. Interesting choice for a photo, Tony Chance. But you might see some names. Jerome Pena, that's definitely a name I'm sure that most of us recognize. But you're going to have coaches in here too, which I would have absolutely hated as a kid. Vance Lovelace. And I've seen some like weird errors in here as well too, like printing errors and whatnot. I think I opened, I don't know, I either opened a box of these or a bunch of packs. I know like Schilling I think has a minor league card with this same exact wood border, Bagwell, Frank Thomas. Well, those are one per pack or what? Terry Taylor, no booze signs or anything. A couple funny photos in there, but nothing really to get all excited about. So I guess we'll eh, let's go into line drive next. 91. I remember buying some of these back in the day. Not really a super exciting set. I know Pedro Martinez has a minor league rookie in here. I think like Jim Tomey does too. Jim Tatum. Kenny Jackson, very bland design, very bland. Nolan Lane, Bobby Dickerson, Eric Bell, Tim Holland. So really nothing, nothing too crazy in that pack, but we have these to get excited about. Ten cards in here, it doesn't feel like it at all whatsoever. It must be pretty thin card stock and not very easy to open. Okay, I remember these now, the blue border. So, these are from 1989, and of course, Van Snyder, that would be my luck to pull him on the very top of the pack, because I hated him as a kid. I can't remember if the, the, the um, crotch ball error is in this set. I feel like it is. I, can't, I couldn't remember if it was 88 or 89. Junior Felix. So there's some names anyone recognize. I haven't opened these in a while, but... Can't think of really any big name players you're gonna see in here. Van Snyder again. <laughs> it's the exact same collation. Ken Hill. What is going on here? Oh no. Oh no. Ed Estrada with a bitter beer face. Yeah, pretty bad collation there. Junior Felix was a guy I did not like back then either. So as a as a little kid in 1989, I was like. Five years old, I probably would have been real pissed off opening these and getting two Junior Felix cards. Stu Tate starting things off. Dickie Scott, Jeff Gardner, Mike Jeffcoat, <laughs> Buster Bison. That's pretty interesting. I can't say I've ever seen that one before. Francisco Melendez. Now, these are you can tell they're very cheaply made. They're very thin card stock, but. They definitely scream 80s. Definitely need to get a box of these now. You could probably get a box of these for like 15 or 20 bucks, I would think. Shouldn't be that expensive. Luis Rivera. Randy Velarde. Glenn Allen Hill. Team Picture, the Richmond Braves. 
Ramon Pena. We got one more pack of these left. Desert Storm. And we'll go on to see if we can chase down some of these errors and whatnot and autographs even. It was an interesting card. Indians Broadcasters. Probably not one I would have really cared for as a kid. There's Ted Power. Billy Bates. Juan Guzman. I feel like that would have been a pretty hot one back in the day. And Kevin Ritz for the Toledo Mud Hens. I'm going to have to look at the checklist for that set to see if there's anybody else in there. Maybe we'll have to rip those. At some point, we have a pack of 9091 soccer cards from Pacific. Another Desert Storm pack. Oh, we have one more left. Surprise. I was hiding out down there. Steve Springer starting this one off. Mike Ham. <laughs> Stan Hilton. Give us a big name player here. Bruce Fields and John Davis. Nothing really too crazy in that pack. Let's go. I'm not going to open all these 89 to Don Russ. we got Je Greg Jeffries on the top of that pack. We're going to keep that one. Um, and Chet Lemon will open maybe one of each of these. We'll put this one off to the side. Marty Barrett on top. Junior Felix on this one. Put that one off to the side. Kelly Gruber on top of this one. And we have a um, random team bag here. Of some basketball from 1990-91 hoops. Cliff Robinson rookie card. I think that was definitely a decent one back in the day. I feel like it's still a pretty okay one. Nick Anderson rookie. Dana Barros. Tim Hardaway rookie. BJ Armstrong. There's some decent ones in here. Sean Elliott. Another Tim Hardaway. Another Nick Anderson, another there's Glenn Rice. Not too bad at all. BJ Armstrong again. So some cool rookies in here. Actually, all rookie cards. So pretty awesome. Selling that for a buck at the card shop. Not too shabby. Let's go into let's check out 92 Stadium Club next. The series one, I know Mike Walkton's not in here, so don't get your hopes up. Can't remember if Pat List Dash is in series one or not, but I remember pulling that as a kid and like Man, I was pumped, but I loved these back in 92. I loved them. I couldn't afford them in 91, but they came down a decent amount the following year. As Curtis Wilkerson leading things off. Cecil Espy, I would have been pumped on this pack back then. Ron Karkovice, not looking all that old. I never realized that was Ron Karkovice's rookie. That was definitely a Mandela effect for me. 87 tops. I thought Ron Karkovice's rookie would have been in, like, the 60s. <laughs> Guys, up there with Charlie Huff, Joe Girardi. There's his rookie, the Major League debut. I always, I love that about Stadium Club. I freaking loved that touch that they had. They always had a Topps rookie card in the back there. Terry Maholland. Kent Herbeck. There's Rance. Of course he's going to show up. And there's his rookie. 1978. I've never seen that card before, so that's pretty cool. Ken Daly. Langford. Emmanuel Lee. His rookie's 86 Tops. Greg Briley. So cool. I love that. Darren Lewis, and the final card is Billy Doran. 83 tops is his rookie card, so nothing super exciting in there, but always cool to see some rookies that i never taken a notice to before. We'll do 92 score next and see if we can pull any of these autographs. That'd be crazy from one pack. The odds are stacked very highly against you. There's Alex Cole impersonating Chris Sabo. I would have hated this card, especially opening a pack and seeing this first thing. And look at that, we got one! Is that a freaking autograph? I might be getting a little bit excited. Sorry if I blew your ears out, but is that a mantle? Holy crap, that would be nuts. All right. Don't jinx yourself, John. Trevor Wilson, Sean Abner. Those are hard to pull. Those franchise cards are definitely not easy to pull. Jose Uribe, Otis Nixon. Calm my nerves here before we get to that. Aaron Seeley rookie card. I would have loved that as a kid. Mike Humphreys, Wade Boggs Dream Team, Dave Island. It's a Yaz. Is it an autograph? Oh, I jinxed myself. <laughs> That's still freaking awesome, though. It's a four-card insert set, and these were not easy to pull. Um, let's see what the odds are. If I can find the pack wrapper, I don't know what I did with it. Let's 
So let's see what the odds of pulling a franchise. It looks like... Do they even have odds on here? I'm talking all about the Chuck Knobloch autograph. I don't even see. I, I know they're tough. Nothing about it on here, though. So Pretty sick, though. A Yaz franchise out of one pack. I will take it. Do this one next. Dave Martinez has a 90 Fleer card. It's Mattingly in the back. And the error on it is the 90 is yellow. It's tough to find. It's, I don't even see it on eBay very often. It seems like it's pretty expensive when it does pop up, but I'd like to get one raw. It's one that was brought to my attention, I believe, by Corey not too long ago. I'm like, that is sweet. I need that. There's Crook, Mookie Wilson, Bobby Bonilla. I used to like that car a lot as a kid. There's Gary Gaetti. McCullers. So looking for this Dave Martinez elusive error card. Ramon Martinez would have been a hot one back then. We got three stickers in this cello pack. Brian Holton. <laughs> Two Brian Holtons in one pack. You just got to put on the on the watch list in one pack. Not easy to do. Ron Kittle, Chris Hammond, the weird yellow orb on his abdomen. Scott Geralt again, so now he is on the other watch list. Randy Kramer. What? <laughs> what is that? Has anybody ever seen that happen before? That is pre pretty crazy. Oh, wow. All right, well, I'm obsessed with that now, as you can imagine. We got an insert card in here. Is it Todd Zeal? Oh, man, this would have been a sick pack back in 1990. I got to put that in the background. Honeycutt, Ricky Jordan, Lee Mazzilli, Spanky LaValier. And there's Donnie Baseball. So I am stoked on that random cut piece of cardstock that I'm going to put probably put in a top loader. <laughs> I don't know why that was in there, but I can't say I've ever had that happen to me in all the years of opening packs. We'll do 87 Donruss next. And so we can find out here. I think a dollar a pack for 87 Donruss is a good price. I don't ever see him for that cheap. Clemente, puzzle pieces. You know who we're looking for in here. Darnell Coles. Sharperson, I feel like it's so easy to search these packs. So many of the ones I've opened, I feel like have been searched already. Molly Backman, Steve Bouchelle, and Pat Dodson, not the right-rate rookie we're looking for. Bryn Smith and Jim Clancy. So this one definitely could have been searched at one point in time. We didn't get anything too uh, worthy in there, noteworthy in there. We've got two 89 Donruss left. We will put this one off to the side. We'll open this. We'll open one of these. 89 Fleer. I don't want to make this video super long because we still have some modern packs to open. Chet Lemon on the top of this grocery pack. If you remember buying these at the store. 89 Tops. The big ones we're looking for in here is Randy Johnson rookie card, obviously. And Craig Biggio, Gary Sheffield, Danny Gladden, I always like this design, though. I'm also looking for error cards. Jose leaned, kind of like almost grabbing at his crotch there. That card, card always weirded me out. Jeff Musselman, that's Wade Boggs. Nolan Ryan, back-to-back, -back, that's pretty awesome. Dave Martinez in the wrong pack. <laughs> he looks pissed about it, too. Ozzie Gann, Sandberg, not a bad pack at all. Boggs, Nolan Ryan, now Sandberg. Mark Grace, gold cup card. That was definitely a hot one back in the day, too. Dave Stewart. Ron Gant Gold Cup card. This would have been an epic pack back then. Pocket All-Star. Strawberry All-Star. Ramon Martinez Rookie card was another one. A big one back then. Van Slyke. Vaughn Hayes. Vaughn Hayes wouldn't have ruined this pack for me back then. Even back then. It's too good of a pack. Gary Carter. Record Breaker. Mark Portugal. Malaki. George Brett. That was a freaking epic cello pack. Or grocery pack. One of the best ones I probably opened for 89 Tops or in that era. And of course, that sweet top sweatshirt that I want really bad. Awesome pack. Let's see if we can keep it going. We also have this, too. Kmart set from 1987, it looks like. 33 cards in there. I think we looked at those before, but I remember having these as a kid. So it's pretty awesome. And um, let's see. I'm doing Napoleon Diamond. I'm probably not going to open all these, but we have flipping sweet trading cards from the, the hit movie that is absolutely hilarious. It's one I really, really will never get sick of. Never seen Napoleon Dynamite, then I don't know what you're doing, but when did that come out? 2005, it looks like. Made by NECA. So we'll see what we can find in here. Maybe we'll... Whoops. Got hung up on the pack there. So we have Pedro there, starting things off. And there is Napoleon. <laughs> Sweet hookups. 
So these doubles, I guess, they are double-sided. Looks like a medieval war <laughs> warrior. <laughs> oh, these are awesome. That's my ride. Napoleon on horseback. Hey, sorry I'm late. I just got done taming a wild honeymoon stallion for you guys. <laughs> well, that place was a ripoff when they went down to the dojo. Kip, um, sketching on rollerblades. After one week with me on the do uh, on my dojo, you'll be prepared to defend yourself with the strength of a grizzly, the reflexes of a puma, and the wisdom of a man. I don't know if these are like supposed to be errors. I've noticed a couple like spelling or grammar errors. Wisdom of a man. Interesting. We're looking at that more sweet mula. Count and change. That's like a dollar an hour. <laughs> he got like three feet of air <laughs> of air that time where they, they build that makeshift ramp where he rides off of it. He got like three feet of air off that. It's a sledgehammer. Dang. He got shocks, pegs. Lucky. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite rules. Look at open one more pack of these. I don't think these boxes are all that expensive. I've seen them before around the flea markets and whatnot. Pedro for president. I'd vote for you. You have a sweet bike and you're really good at hooking up with chicks. Plus, you're like the only guy at school with, who has a mustache. <laughs> There's that time travel device <laughs> that Kit bought off the internet. <laughs> it's a time machine, Napoleon. We bought it online. Oh, these are freaking awesome. Sweet moves. What is this? An insert card? Looks like it. There's like no numbers on these either. Pedro shaving his head. You don't feel like your hair is burning or anything? Do you ever take it off any sweet jumps? Yeah, so there's no numbers or anything, but these are interesting. I like those. All right, so to avoid taking up any more time, we will move along to back to the baseball, and then we'll get to the modern stuff. Right, got them both ripped out of those plastic rack packs. we got Chris Sabo starting things off. He actually had a Don Russ rookie card in the rookie set in 88, I believe. But we're looking for Kangaroo Jr., of course. Carlos Quintana, rated rookie. Mike Davis, any booze signs? We have a partially obscured Marlboro sign. Jack Clark, puzzle piece of Warren Spawn. And we'll find a Kurt Schilling rookie or a hairy chested or hairy neck of Larry McWilliams. Neck hair is really creeping up there. Zane Smith, not looking too bad on this photo. Never thought I'd hear myself say those words in that order, ever. A random Drew Hall rookie card to creep me out and end that part of the rack pack. Rolando... Starting things off, De Los Santos, we not getting really anything notable. How more? <laughs> Pete Harnish, rookie, was a decent one at one time. Daryl Evans. And nothing really too crazy in there. We'll have better luck in the 89 Fleer. And we'll find a Billy Ripken or a Jeff Treadway. Target error. We got Eckersley, Winfield starting things off. How Morris again. That's two packs in a row. I would have been furious as a kid. Tom Browning, pitcher perfect. Swear 89 Fleer and 89 or 89 Fleer and 90 Fleer are so hard to shuffle through like quickly because of the card stock. Indian sticker, Concepciones. Dave Martinez again, seeing him all the time except where it matters in the 90 Fleer pack. Jim Wally Wander. There's a Brady Anderson rookie card. I've been stoked on that one as a kid. Gerald Young. Matt Williams, second year card. Paul Kilgis. Padres sticker. Welch. Glenn Hubbard. Pete O'Brien. This is a cool card, though. 40-40, Canseco. Definitely was probably a decent one at one point. Bo Jackson, and I think these are one per rack pack. Andres Galarraga, for the record, was a six-card insert set. So, pretty sweet. Got a couple nice names in there. Ryan Sullivan, I really appreciate uh, you sending that. I think <laughs> I'm still very, very intrigued by that um, cardstock piece there. But check out Ryan Sullivan, his eBay store down below. Check his YouTube channel out, too. Hit, a, hit the subscribe button on his channel. Thank you very much for sending that, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, the rest of those packs will be handed off to kids in the store. So thank you very, very much. And let's check out the last order of business for tonight. This is actually sent by a YouTuber also and a avid viewer, um, Strikes and Spikes, if you guys are familiar with him. He's typically always in the auctions, but he sent this package. These were both sent, like, a few weeks back. And I've just been trying to accumulate some more mail or just find a place to or a time to open them. So we have two packs of 2022 We're looking for Wander, obviously. And we have this random um, case, crayon case, full of singles. So let's open this up first. And I forget what's in here because I opened it weeks ago, like I said. And 
<laughs> I remember now what the last card is, and it's pretty epic. I can say that. So it says rookies and packs, and this was sick because I didn't. This is the only one of this card that I have. This wander, his rookie card, which is like people are going nuts over right now. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Thank you very much, David, for sending that. So we got a lot of rookies. He knows I collect rookies, obviously. Garcia, India, pretty awesome. Brady Singer. Henry Rodriguez, pretty awesome. And we have some older ones, too, if you guys remember the Just Rookie set. I wasn't collecting back then, but I've um, never really seen too much of those. Shelly Miller's rookie debut. Rodriguez from 91 Ultra. Ibanez. Alec Bohm, rookie card from Diamond Kings. Jay Bruce, Bohm, and Crumb. That's sick, too. That, that one will definitely go in my rookie box as well. I know for a fact I did not have that one. Brian Dozier, first Bowman. Kipnis, definitely another one I didn't have. Didn't have Chris Davis. Berkman. There's an Aquino rookie in the wing, Stadium Club. Checklist card. So definitely some cool stuff in here. And uh, this is pretty awesome, too, because I have a partial 69 set. So he sent that to me as well. Ron Santo, Hall of Famer. That's pretty awesome. A lot of cool stuff in here. Trout, Yelich, which I'm surprised you sent that because you PC him, but you probably, uh, I'm sure you probably have more than that. Pronunciation, pronunciation disputes. Let's see how well I do with these. Robert Lewandowski. That's probably close enough. That one's not too difficult. Luke De Jong or De Jong. That one more than likely is butchered. <laughs> Abramovic. I'm guessing is how you say that. It's Zlatan or Zlatan. Probably. Really butchered those. Bad ads. Don't worry. I use marker on the sleeve, not the card. So we got. A partial Budweiser sign sticking out behind Eddie Murray. I've never seen this year at Gallery. 2021, I didn't open any of those. And uh, what is this right here? I'll have to check out what that is. A little closer under like <laughs> under a magnifying glass. Because I cannot make that one out. And racing is definitely notorious for having all these different advertising. Winston and Miller, of course, you see here. Harry Gant. This is one I definitely had this one in my uh, offensive signage box. So we got the Marlboro sign there. Frick, frack, and hack. D. Sarcina, 93 per deck. Yuri Yinzer. We got some buckos here. This is pretty awesome. Cabrian Hayes, optic rookie. Pretty sick. Morton, another Cabrian Hayes, the uh, insert 92 tops design. Refractor, pretty freaking awesome. And this is, I don't know what these parallels are. Not out of 199. To me, they're all just sparkly parallels. This is pretty sick, though. Lee Hancock. I love this set. The uh, Lee Signature Series. These are so cool. And I do have a couple of them. The boxes of these are super expensive. You can find them because of the Jeter possibility in there. Mark Lee. So we got some <laughs> some other random ones in here. You know, like, I don't know. I just I think of like Fred Flintstone, the club, when I look at that card. Chris Sabo's 89 score, iconic. And of course, what a way to end this stack with Dennis Cook, Authentic Signature. I actually had this card already in a box. Somebody sent this to me like years ago, but now I have two of them, so <laughs> even better. That is so sick. Dennis Cook, official autograph. That will probably be on display in my shop with all the other Dennis Cook memorabilia. So, David, thank you for sending all those cool rookies. Let's see uh, if I have any luck in these packs now. 14 cards. I honestly don't know what else I'm looking for, really, other than the uh, the Wander. I'm sure most people are with me on that, but my modern card knowledge is pretty inferior to everyone else on Earth that collects <laughs> cards. Jaron Duran. That's definitely uh, one that we did not mention. That's pretty awesome, because I did not have that one. Definitely a hot one. Put that off in the background. Jose Ramirez. Hanniger. And I think these are probably inserts. Looks like it. Welcome to the show, Willie Mays. Cool one. Tony Kemp. Is this like a short print? I, don't, I saw this card before. I was like, is he? Is that like imitating the Matrix? Is that <laughs> definitely what it looks like to me? Jared Kellenick, Future Star card is a nice one. Slam Diego returns and Anthony Bender rookie card. All right. Jared Durant's pretty sweet, though. Let's see if we... Have similar luck in this pack. JT Romuto just picked up his rookie card recently, the 2015 update. Zach Thompson, Contreras, Weathers, Conforto, Clayton, and Luke Williams rookie card. Strikeout leaders. 
Roldis Chapman, and we ended with a uh, second year Christian Pache. So, a couple decent rookies in there, and some big names too. So, pretty freaking awesome. Uh, thank you guys all for watching this video. Thank you guys all that sent me mail. We'll be back on Tuesday night for the 2005 Bowman Chrome break. So, I hope you all will tune in for that. And that is all I have for you guys tonight. Please drop me a comment down below and uh, let me know what your favorite thing you saw in this video was. And uh, I will see you guys all on Tuesday. Have a great rest of your weekend, guys.